What is up YouTube? Welcome back again. It's a buddy Techno Boy, and there you can see I showed you a, a four channel amplifier before. Well, that I made with a, a 12 volt kit and a 5 volt kit. Well, this thing I made another one with a two kit. You can see right there, they both are like same 3110 uh, D2 IC class D amplifier. They both have like 15 plus 15 watt output, 15 watt per channel RMS. So total 30 watt uh, two channel here and 30 watt two channel right there. We can see that's the power input right there. And I have connected a 3 amp uh, adapter because uh, two kits are working. You can give them at least one amp and they will work uh, much better uh, with the three inch even four inch uh, speaker driver. But uh, as two of them are connected parallelly to the power supply so I have uh, connected a 3 amp power supply which is the max power it can take you should not give it more than 3 amp of power supply so that's a capacitor to handle the base it's a 35 volt and 4700 mfd capacitor and that's i have connected one led to uh, understand that the amplifier is on or off because the kits uh, have the uh, led smd on board but that uh, that cannot be seen from outside the amplifier if I close the top so I have connected one LED here and that can be seen from the outside so that's it and that's the main volume control and uh, this thing control this uh, primary kit right here with these two mini tower speakers right there and from there the output go to that kit and go to this volume control too and from this volume controls output it goes to that kit right there and also the subwoofer controller the black where and see it's going out right there so this thing controls all the channels and the subwoofer and this thing uh, controls just two channels which is at the top the right one and the left one they are having 3 inch uh, woofer from Sutton and having good sound so that's it I have connected 47k potentiometer right there and there too both are having 47k potentiometers so that's it that's the input RCA and two speaker output terminals are there you can see so now let me turn this on Here you can see the light you can see it from outside too just like that and I kept it inside because if I put the LED outside then it may distract when I'm working here or playing games to the PC uh, so I have kept it inside so now let's play some songs uh, that's the song name is scary the name is devil dance rock and there's a ghost there's a ghost in the song that's the ghost. You see. So now let's check the song. So now let me tell you the cost of it. That kit rupees 80. That also 80. So the both are like 160 rupees. And this potentiometers are cost rupees 10. So two of them makes 20. That's the capacitor around 20, I guess. 
and this uh, electrical junction box this thing cost me around 50 so 160 plus 20 180 and then 20 here 200 and 250 and I think I spent uh, around 100 for the wires and all those connectors uh, sockets and jacks that's it so total is like 300 so for this 300 I made this 4 channel amplifier and this sounds as you heard amazing it's very good for doing the work and at PC and playing games and all and if you have a power subwoofer you can connect that too like I did this black wires to control the subwoofer uh, from this volume or else you can connect uh, the subwoofer to the main source uh, input the main input which is uh, coming to the amplifier uh, same source uh, then you have to separately control the subwoofer uh, each time you increase the volume uh, then you have to adjust the bass with the volume too but if you can connect a RCA cord uh, just like this uh, to the main volume control of the amplifier then you can control the channels and the subwoofer bass everything from this one volume, volume control so that's it except that this thing just cost me rupees 300 as I told you so build the amplifier by yourself and use it and that will sound amazing and you'll feel great too like i'm doing now so that's it that's all for today's in the next video thanks for watching bye bye